Have I ever told you guys a story when I got beat up in grade one? Probably not. That's why I'm probably telling it. Hey, um, you here with It's Just Matthew. Here with another story time to tell you how I got beat up in grade one. Stay till the end because it involves me crying, like always. But let's just, let's just jump right into it. So in grade one, I was in grade one, I think in two different schools, um, John Wycliffe and then at Westcott. Now, the reason why I was in grade one both times is because I couldn't speak properly. I, did, I, can't, I can't speak properly now still, but I couldn't speak properly. So my mom kept me back just so that I, I wouldn't have that difficulty moving on into the, into the future years. So that was actually really good because it did actually help me. And it was, part, it was part of life. But besides all that, in grade one, it feels like the first day of grade one when this happened. I, I remember nothing before and i just remember that incident now i re like it worked like this it was break time um i was playing outside now imagine if here was on this side of the screen was like where the classrooms was and this side over here is where you you play outside right so i was playing the grade one was here and here was like the playing section for grade one and all I remember was I was playing and out of nowhere, this grade two just came out of nowhere, right? And for some reason, came to pick on me. Now, he wasn't alone. He came with more grade twos. So if grade ones were playing here, grade twos were playing like right over here. So then he came and started to pick on me, make jokes and make fun of me, right? And he didn't come alone. He came with like his friends. He came with some like some other people and when this was happening right they were, they were picking me or pushing me around um and they, of course now you know in school like if a fight happens you don't you don't do anything i don't know why people don't help each other but so a circle is happening so this guy um i won't give his full name but his name i think his name was carl yeah i think his name was carl so what he does was now I'm I'm still small as my new time at the school. I'm in grade one. In grade one, just remember, you like six, like seven, five. I I don't even know the age, right? So what he does is he pushes me down. He pushes me on my face in the sand. All I remember was my face was in the sand, lying on my side. The sand's in my face, looking at everybody else, shouting out, "Help me! Help me! Anybody help me!" The grade twos are laughing. The the guy on top of me, Kyle's laughing, pushing me down. Sand is growing in my mouth. I'm just looking for anybody to help me. And for I remember that I didn't have a lot of friends. Because the thing is, I came from grade one from another school into grade one into this school. While some of the others started grade odd, right? So they moved to grade one. So they had friends. I didn't have that friends yet. So let's just jump back to the scene. I'm in the sand calling for somebody to help me. I can't remember. I probably shouted out for one of the friends I had made to help me. And they didn't. The two grade twos were just like laughing and like, yeah, uh, look at the babies. He's crying. I don't know what they were saying, right? Somehow I got, I got free, right? And they let me go, but somehow he got free. Now, the only way you could get back into the school, right, was there was this, the, like, the whole package was, package was like this, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, right? See, I was at the bottom here. The only way I could get back inside was to run all the way up. Over here, there's like a door on top where you can run down. And the bathrooms are all the way below grade 1. So, I got free from the section over here. And I started running, right? I started running all the way up. I started running, running, running. Got inside. And this whole group that was here around me started to chase me <laughs> all the way. Now... It's it was like a lot of people that just like started to chase and I was trying to run away. Kyle chased Kyle chasing after me. You know, some other people, Sebastian and everything. I just remember. And they chased me all the way and I got into the bathrooms, right? And I locked the door and I was shouting, Just leave me alone! Just leave me alone! You hurt me and it's okay. Just leave me alone. And I was crying and I was I was shouting at them and they were like in the bathroom. We're in the bathroom now, the door is locked and like knocking on the door, trying to like I don't know, aggregate me more or something. Um, but I was just like just crying and I was so upset and I was just like tearing and sand was in my mouth as I was shouting and like I was swallowing the sand. I was just crying. So for the whole of break, right? 
I was just in the bathroom until they left. Um, I can't remember what happened after that, like after the thing. I probably just like just was. I probably just stayed in the bathroom, just washed my face, just like walked, um, and probably just like because I can't remember. I just remember getting beat up running to the bathroom. I can't remember anything after that. Um, but yeah, it was such a such a stupid thing. I remembered that my thought back then was, I'm in grade one. You were grade above me. Why would you want to fight with someone a grade below you? I don't understand. But the th cool thing about this story is that right? this guy that attacked me like in grade one, I remember that in grade seven, um, we were kind of in the same grade. So like, yeah, he failed. Not, not that I want him to fail, but one thing that I remembered was I grew from such a small boy into such a tall person um, in grade seven, I was like one of the tallest people in my primary school, and this cow guy was still there, and I was so I was so big, and I I, I remembered he maybe forgot, but I remembered, and I didn't pick on him, I didn't bully him or anything, but like I was I was so strong, and I looked over him and things, um, but yeah, I didn't get my revenge because that's not something I recommend. Never get your revenge on someone that hurts you because what's the point? That person is gonna feel the same hurt that you felt. Um, but one thing you can do is look back on the memories and just be like, damn it. Like, why would they do it? And raise, and also one thing I'm going to do is raise my kids better. First of all, raise my kids to fight. If anything happens, I get, yo, my, my kid's going to beat up your kid. Secondly, I'll, I'll make sure my kid is not a bully. I don't know how, but I'll make sure. Um, but damn it. That like in grade one, I just, I just, that's like one of the only memories I remember. And then another one where I just fly kicked this, this guy in like his chest. I don't know why, but that's that's another story. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this this the story time video, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. Um, and also comment what what year you want a video. So this video, I mean that that story kind of happened in this thing, two thousand and ten. It was probably 2002, 2000, 2003, when I was in, when I was in grade one, um, and I got beat up. So you guys can get to comment a year and I'll make a, a video on the year or what grade and I will tell you a story. Okay. But anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this video. And like always, bye. <laughs> I don't, we don't have an outro line here. Um, yeah. See you guys. Peace.